Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will be configuring a SQLite for our project. So, to start with, the prerequisites for this tutorial is Postgres, pgadmin, and Node.js. So, make sure you download them and have them installed. So, this is where we ended in the last tutorial. We were able to set up a basic Express server that serves on a particular port. And we have our endpoint, a basic endpoint. Yeah, here just a welcome. This is a welcome endpoint, just like the home page of our website. So this is that's it about the the app. We're able to set up our body parser on ESLint and Bubble. They are working. ESLint is working. Bubble is also working. We're able to compile our server, and this is a compiled code here. So good. I can stop this. I can stop the uh, ESLint from working on this file. So just to ESLint disable so we don't need uh, ESLint to, to link this file because it is not needed now let's go to the next step now first next step we need to create a database call it to do the development database good now here let's go let's just just right click on the database in your PG admin this is PG admin you create your database give it to do dev and that's all now go back to our code and in the, in the terminal let's install those dependencies first next by installing these dependencies install SQL ICIs npm installs colis CLI we are installing this one group adding next is next one is um sqlizon.in npm install sqlize.in that's the dependencies so while that is installing let's create a sqlize rc file and in that file import con a path from path and also do want you export you have config a config path is in the is to on see this and migrations that is all of this path now let's next thing we'll do is to run our sqlize clise sqlize in it it is now going to create our models for folders models migrations and cedars folder so it has created four different folders and in this config folder we have the the basic config code so i'm not going to use this one let me just remove it now in this for in this file I'm going to import you may require dot e and b config and also do module dot export in that we have development development we have database to dev and for all use env variables um, let's create a database url create a file a .env file it's always advisable to store your environment variables in a file like this db dev url 
equal to postgres postgres at username is postgres postgres password our and uh, local host and that's the port and the database name is to do dev so this is all about the database url just do it there we also have a theory of them this is the development test and uh, production okay for this one not yet I don't have it yet so just give it blank I, then for this one I'll just call it test that's the only difference so user and use environment variables and for that we're going to use uh, we're going to use this and dialect will be postgres that's all that's all for development settings configurations now let's do for the test and production and configure connection this is the condition of the connection to our database is configured what else we have to add you've created a dot env file a dot sql rc file database and everything is done now next let's make sure everything works let's create our first model to create a, a model in sequelize you just do go to your terminal sequelize model generate the name the name of our model i'm gonna do user user model and attributes of we have name string username there should be no space here there should be no space in between these attributes so you have name string uh, email i'm just going to use three fields here email stuff string and password string two now it has created so it works our uh, database is connected there is a migration file that has been created that command has now created migration so let's compare this to es6 this is an es5 let's do export default and that then this is just going to do this um, what else don't need this one oh yes I love it. I love yes seriously so this is it this man is not going to be used and also just give this and that's it I don't know what the there is we're going to ignore this make, make remove this errors yes it's requiring us to give commas at the end of each yeah property in an object so let's go and add a row let's remove that as let's uh, turn it off let's turn off that row zero zero means it should be turned off so we won't have that in any part at in our, in our, in our program again so this is like so 
this man same thing here let's do this module not module export default so everything is good let's use ES6 syntax here this guy is not being used for now but it's going to be used in the future so let's just comment it so that we can minimize the red lines in our code and the space here so everything is good let's now create the table on the database so we'll run uh, sequelize migrate db migrate this is going to create our tables in the database. Okay, the axe now to install PG. Let's install PG. NPM install PG. I'm gonna install it globally. Good, so it is now installed. Let's run a migration command. It's like the export is not recognized. So let's just undo these changes for now. Let's go back here and undo them too. Good. Okay, our table has been created in the data on the data database. If you go to our database now, you're going to see that table there. The schemas and tables. Now we have our users table and migration and sequelized metadata. Alright guys, thank you for watching uh, for staying and watching. Meet you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe.